Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and this is for Tuesday the 9th of July 2019 and this is for all signs. So the message is sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions and sensitivity calls for extra self-care and gentleness. We have Larimar as a, as a gem. Okay, let's get an angel card. What's the message, angels, for people today? Blessings. We have blessings. Okay. Cards, what's the message, please? For all signs, for Tuesday the 9th of July 2019. This is for all signs. Thank you. Tuesday, the 9th of July. We have death. Okay, a couple of three cards popped out. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Devil, Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, We have the world. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. Okay, just give me a moment. Let's start with the Three of Swords here. Okay, so the Three of Swords. This is about seeing truth of a situation, brutal truths in some respects. This can be a heartbreak card in relationships. And it's, there's levels to this card as well. Sometimes it can be being hurt, being upset, being wounded or deeply hurt by someone's actions or something that somebody said. Um, can be in any aspect of life because it's a general reading I wouldn't limit it to just relationships the three of swords is about getting clarity by seeing the truth because when you see the truth when you see the truth of any heartbreak any third party situation that might have gone on in in love for example um, when you see the truth of someone's actions or someone's words towards you, when you feel that truth, it does wound you. But this is a wound that's open to the elements. So it's a wound that's ready to heal. You see, we have the clouds, we have the rain. And even though that might be your kind of feeling, feeling down, feeling quite um, caught up in negativity with this card, it also says that if you allow yourself to see it, accept it for what it is, that's the point when you move on because you expose that wound to the elements and as soon as a wound is exposed to the elements, it starts to heal. It's only when you cover it, sometimes it's only when you don't acknowledge that it's there, that's when this kind of wound stays and really keeps hold of you. So there is something about seeing the truth of a situation, the brutal truth of someone's actions, someone's words, could have been a group of people as well, in order to heal. 
yeah so even though it's a tough card I understand for some it can be quite a hard card to come to terms with when it appears it is kind of saying the tarot is saying listen if you bring it out into the light if you bring it out into the elements if you recognize it for what it is that's the point when you let go and that is what the death card is saying there is something to let go of death is very much about letting go in order to move on it can be about things that are holding you back from moving on as well our own restrictions, our own hurts, our own negativities, our own confidence, our own self-belief even. This is somebody who is guarded. That, I mean, they can be the misers, so they want more money in a way. Um, and some of you may want job progression, uh, for example. But this is somebody who's holding them back, themselves back from really opening their mind because I kind of think that's what the Three of Swords is saying to you as well. Once you see the truth of a situation, you find liberation in a way. It's time to let go. And interestingly, I do talk about bookends in my readings. We have the Death card here, top left, and we have the World Energy here, top bottom right. <laughs> Both talk about endings, major endings. So there is, there is something about allowing endings to happen allow yourself to get over a situation this is somebody who's hanging on too tightly to something that the death card is saying they don't need anymore by holding on too tightly to something you're stopping yourself moving forward you're placing limitations on yourself you're putting up boundaries and you're remaining stuck so this is about very much about death destruction transformation rebirth allow that rebirth to happen, allow that liberation to happen. There's a beautiful energy with the death card in the sense that death knocks down institutions. So it could well be beliefs that you might have had from a child even. Um, it could be limitations that other people are placing on you. This is saying, do you realize that you have the choice to liberate from you, you, yourself from this situation if you want it. But some of you are just hanging on to something that just doesn't serve you anymore. And for some reason, it's keeping you stuck. You deserve so much more. I kind of think that's what these cards are saying. You deserve so much more. You're worth so much more. You have so much more potential. But for some reason, you are either imposing boundaries on you or letting other people impose boundaries on you because I am seeing these two cards here and in a way both of these cards can be about boundaries let's talk about these okay so we have the devil card and we have the world card so the devil card can be when we give power yes we can give power to somebody else but we can also give power to a situation that might have happened that owns us. It could well be our own, somebody's actions towards us in the past, um, whether it's a breakup of a relationship, it could be a loss of a job, it could be a bit of dispute in some respects in whatever aspect of life. There could be family fallouts or friendship fallouts. Whatever this is, that negativity is, is you're hanging on too tight to something that is owning you and stopping you from moving on. You're giving your power away to that devil energy. And we kind of do that by thinking about what other people are doing, for example, in a breakup. You know, it could well be, or what is, what is he doing now? Or is he seeing somebody else? Or is she moving on with somebody else? Or um, what do they still think about me? Do they still have feelings? You know, all of those kind of things. Similarly in the job situation, you know, there are all those questions that you can answer. Um, so I kind of feel this is when we give power to other people. It's not necessarily... You, you can walk away from people in this type of Three of Swords situation. You can turn your back on them most definitely. But this is when you allow them to own you from the inside as well. When you give your power to somebody else, why are they not calling? 
Why, the, why haven't they come back to me? Why haven't they responded to my email? Why haven't I heard back on that text? You know, all of those kind of things is giving power to somebody else. So, and it's that negativity that can be really consuming because it's very, very, it's very slight. It's those tiny steps that you, you allow yourself to fall into the negativity and that's the illusion. And death wants to knock down that illusion of you being hemmed in by your own boundaries, by your own limitations, by your own thoughts, by hanging on to the past. So here's, here's the thing. This is the world card is about achievement. It's about celebration. It's about success. It can be about material success as well. Very good in terms of jobs and career when this card appears, certainly money as well. But it's also a card of Saturn and it's that life cycle. This is the end of a life cycle. Uh, we all go through many life cycles, don't we, in our, in our lives. And this is the ring of Saturn in a way. And it talks about how you're ready to push through breaking out of old cycles. Or you have the power to do that. You have the power to bring something to an end by breaking out of an old cycle or an old belief or an old way of seeing things or breaking out of your old restraints because you've grown as a person through experience. That's what the world card is saying. You've been tested, you've been challenged and this is the point when you can really overcome. This is when you can break free. This is when you can move to that next level but for some reason, you're keeping yourself stuck. So it is about seeing the truth of the situation now. Um, I understand there are sensitive emotions involved. I think that's true with that angel card. But I kind of think there are blessings. There are some kind of divine blessings here because the sun energy is here. And there's a promise of, of liberation. There's a promise of seeing your true path as soon as you allow yourself to knock down any boundaries that you're hemming yourself in on at the moment when you break free that sun shines because it's divine energy because i kind of feel that some of you are just realigning to your true path or your true journey and you're pushing past roadblocks almost I think you're overcoming roadblocks, blocks in your journey to really bring about real liberation, real achievement, breakthroughs, breaking free to move on. So powerful energies there. Yeah, we have um, the nine of wands and we also have the page of cups. So the page of, of cups is, it can be an offer of love. I kind of think some of you are finding a happier place. I think some of you are, there is something between these two cards about really trusting your instinct. Some of you, I mean, this can link to psychic messages, but it also can link to messages from loved ones or people that you trust as well. In order to bring a change, a positive change in your life, this is a real positive change, the page of cups. Um, it can be a change of heart, can be about healing your heart, um, it can also be about just looking on the brighter side of life or seeing opportunity, maybe unexpected opportunity appearing. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Unexpected opportunity is closer to hand than you think. Real change, real beginnings of something new is closer to hand than you think. And I'm saying that because this page hold, holds the Ace of Cups. This is the Ace of Cups. This is the Cup of Joy, Happiness, Contentment, Satisfaction, Love. And when the fish pops out, there is something about unexpected changes, unexpected surprises as well. So I kind of feel for some of you, there's something about trusting your instincts because you will surprise yourself as soon as you, you change your whole mindset, as soon as you look forward, this is about looking forward, this is about fighting on, as soon as you trust those instincts, look forward, 
just try and look on the brighter side of life, however difficult life is, then you find unexpected changes, you find unexpected opportunities, that things just click into place a lot quicker than you think. And that's the change, and that's also the lesson, the Saturnian energy of the, of the world card, that you have the power by liberating yourself, by knocking down walls, yeah, freeing yourself in a situation from, from within. Um, and yeah, I just think the Nine of Wands is somebody who is instinctively fighting on with all their passion, their energy, to bring about change in their lives, to overcome any challenges. Now, this could be an internal challenge. This could also be an external challenge in your life. Generally, the ones are external challenges, but I won't rule it out in this reading to be an internal challenge. It says you're closer than you think to, to bring in a positive change or positive opportunity in your life. And it starts with your mindset. It starts with your approach. It starts with almost also doing things from the heart. The, um, and there, are, there also could be a new love. Maybe after a breakup, there could be a new opportunity to find new love as well. But I think this is also somebody who is coming back to them. There is also the potential, I feel, of, of getting to that point with the Page of Cups where you're ready to move on because you've just embraced all of it. You've learned the lessons and that's what I'm feeling. This very much is about understanding the, the world energy. Yes, it's an ending, but it's more about the understanding, which is why this person looks back at the journey, the last cycle they've gone through. They're ready to step into the new cycle because they've understood that they could be holding themselves back. The nine of, of wands could also be holding yourself back from moving on to a positive, happy change. And it is about pushing forward now with no hesitation, no guarded energy, which is this four of pentacles as well. Because it's kind of saying that you've got everything that you need to bring about positive change in your life. But I kind of think it starts with your own mindset. It starts with your own, your own belief. It starts with you almost being ready to receive new opportunities. It's also about you looking on the brighter side of life as well. And I kind of think when you let go of things that you don't need anymore, when you allow yourself to to, not, to break free of those boundaries, that's when you get that really happy turn of events. And yeah, there's real promise there. There's real promise. So let me just pull one more card. I'm just going to shuffle. Let's have one more card, please. One more card, please. <laughs> That's when you come into your own. When you don't allow, when there's an acceptance of this to the point it doesn't hurt you anymore. When you're not a slave to it anymore. The Ace of Cups, and it is a new beginning after two major endings. A beautiful new beginning, the Cup of Joy. This can be about self-love, yes, this can be an offer of love as well. But the teaching of the Ace of Cups is, is this experience is part of you. Allow yourself to heal. And when you allow yourself to heal, when you break free of the restrictions that this hurt has placed on you, your own limitations that you're placing on you or other people might have placed on you in the past. When you let go of being guarded or holding on to things too tightly from the past and see through the illusion, that's when you're ready to embrace all of it. You're ready to embrace a new beginning because you've released the pain of the past. The pain might still be with you, but it doesn't hurt you anymore. You understand? Because you've learned the life lessons that you need to learn. You've overcome the challenges that you need to overcome the challenges on with this Three of Swords. And yeah, this is saying embrace all of it, good and bad, because a beautiful new beginning awaits. And it is about being open to receive a change in your circumstances, whether it's an opportunity, could be an offer of love, could be an opportunity, an unexpected opportunity. But for some of you, I feel it is just coming back to that happier place, 
And this is a real beautiful new beginning, a beautiful opportunity to move forward. So it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.